Peachlings YouTube, what's up? It's Christmas Eve, and I wanted to say thank you for the donations massively. Rodrigo Duz, Eric, brother Eric, Raymond, brother Raymond, and Brian, brother Brian. I don't want to use your surnames, but you know who you are. Thank you very much. I've spent a lot of money recently, and obviously had to buy some new stuff. The main things being the drill and the welder, also like endless other stuff, screws, oils, drill bits, uh, bought myself a proper mask so I'm not going to die, uh, I bought a map torch, I had to buy drill etc, welding helmet, uh, yeah loads of stuff I bought that welder but it wasn't any good, <clears throat> stuff for the turbine I'm having to buy continuously, so yeah if anyone does feel like making a donation I'm going to leave my uh, I've got a new PayPal email address which is gavinfreedomlover at hotmail.com so if you want to make a donation uh, where are we the turbine well the frame you've obviously seen that that's that's pretty much done I need, do need a tail uh, let me get the device but the device is good it's got the holes drilled in the shaft where it's needed and I'll also put the chain on uh, that's the exact right fit uh, it's adjusted by the holes and the bolts in the frame so I'll show you that shortly but yeah I just want to say a big thanks for the donations and keep on rocking so I'll start again with regards to the turbine there are still a few unanswered questions about exactly how it's going to work and if it's even going to work at all if the blades might fly off into a million pieces who knows this is the uh, this is the tower pipe thus far that will sit somewhere there i'm not quite sure yet exactly where see we've got we've got options i wouldn't want to have it that far forward but about there would be about right i guess maybe leave a bit of space from this frame. So that will be actually, uh, I've got to grind the excess weld off. That will be hinged on here. That's how I'm gonna do it again. And then I'm gonna have some kind of arrangement so that we can tip this back a little bit, like so. So yeah, let me show you the, the shaft. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how the shaft and the motor's mounted in. Uh, we'll need four, M12 bolts and four washers at the ready. And this is obviously uh, clamped onto the table. Let me just get, get another one on there. This should be good to go. Red is facing forward. on that haven't fallen off. What I need to do is I need to grind with a Dremel, I need to grind out a tiny bit of that, of the hole in the uh, plate where the bolt goes through. Basically I use my leg strength or whatever leg strength I've got to push the motor up while I'm doing it. The other washer is here somewhere. There it is. And that goes in here. So the last one here. Of course, we wouldn't need this theoretically if we didn't have the ability to run it at different gear ratios, which is the whole point of the doing what I'm doing, really. I mean, I don't know, it might be so un unstable that it can't even fly, but... Uh! Let's get my uh, spanner that survived the fire. Spanner! I'll try not to bang too much because it makes the table wobble. So what I need to do now is put the first bearing on, first bearing on there. Drill press is going to be in the way. 
enough to get the chain on so <clears throat> right now what I'm going to do is drop the gears into place basically by letting off these bolts and there's quite a lot of weight so if the pressure just ends up on one bolt it's quite a lot and when it's up on the tower I'm not going to have a table in the way so it will take a few minutes to set it up and take it down and change it but if it works then it's worth it's worth the immense amount of time and hassle getting that like i say these bolt holes are so tight Then it's come down some more. I oh, know, it's not like it. There you go. So that at the minute, it's just kind of uh, So what we do now is we'll take the slack off the bolts. level everything out. What I will cut is some kind of wooden template so I can just insert it under here and it will give us the exact right because that feels pretty good. So then what we would need to do is bolt down the top nuts. So have a look. Let me just uh, level this up and bolt it down. <coughs> so then we can use a, a level if we want to. It's more by feeling, really. I'm talking about if the chain is aligned exactly how it should be, then it should feel nice and smooth. Whereas if it's a bit over one side or the other, you'll just feel it, it just won't feel right. So let me tighten up the uh, sprocket. Remember this is the big sprocket to the smaller gear. Sorry, having a bit of a pause in the video while I look for one of my tools. I'll quickly show you. Do you remember this this beautiful LED light that I made? Which was on that uh, which was out in the garden. That's how it ended up. <laughs> so maybe we should make another one out of it. Sorry, my camera ran out of uh, storage space. I don't know how much of it you saw, but basically uh, I've just tightened all the bolts up on the motor plates to bring the whole shenanigans up so that we can then move the chain across. It should be relatively cushy. So that's got it in the right position. So now we'll undo the bolts and let the motor drop onto the gear. Like I say, I'm holding it up with my leg. Ooh. Carefully jiggle it down. More to come. Sorry about that. So yeah, in the process of dropping it down, and that has just about dropped down enough. 
Feels pretty good. And we can always make adjustments with these four bolts. Line this up where, properly where we want it. It's not bad. Tighten it up. There you go, that's it running in the other gear. The hair looks from the front. And these are the bolts here I'm talking about that you can use to adjust the plates, adjust the motor up and down, so thereby you can adjust the tightness of the chain. Oh, that's me doing it in my thumb, it's quite hard to do. So there you can see there's way too much, so let's try and get it somewhere in the middle. Right, that's too tight. So... Let's get one tight. That's still too tight. Got a little bit here. And a little bit here. And I think that's good to go. Nice little bit of slack. And that does feel easier to turn. So yeah, I just want to show you that. I'm still waiting for a couple of bits, the blade hubs. And yeah, so I'll be cracking on today and summer Christmas day and summer boxing day. Uh, if I get a lot done today, I'll upload another video later on today. But again, thanks for the donations. Rodrigo, Eric, Raymond and Brian. Peace out. Then when we're good to go, we put the bolts on the bearings. Don't need washers at the moment. Now the back too. been a power cut. So there, that's how that's going to work. And yeah, I just wanted to update you on that because that's good that that's done. And I'm going to be carrying on with the rest of the other stuff. I just need to show you how wet it is outside. So there's been a hell of a lot of rain and I wouldn't want to be really putting a turbine up while everything's this soaked. I've never seen it this wet. And the good thing is, I can carry it. Yeah, although, that is very heavy. Oh, I wonder if I can hold it and turn it around. There you go. So yeah, that is the beast. And we're going to try and get the tail pipe sorted now. Ugh.